This is Justin with Green Residential. Today I'd like to talk to you about water shutoff manifolds. So this is the cover that went over this and you to take it off I just simply lifted and pulled it out. And as you can see, this is like for instance bathroom two tub. This is the shutoff valve for it. So in this situation, all the fixtures in the whole house tie into this manifold. So in the event of an emergency, say you have a problem with the sink and you need to turn the water off, you would not be able to turn it off underneath the sink, which is the kind of the traditional place. In this situation, you'd have to come to the manifold. Manifolds are usually found in like laundry rooms, sometimes they're in the garage. So if your house does have a manifold, you really need to know where it is so you can act fast in an emergency. And as usual, when the um, handle is parallel or in line with the pipe, it's on. When it's perpendicular to the pipe like this, it's off. We're up in an attic and here is, an, uh, you don't usually see uh, shut off manifolds in the attic too much here in the Houston area, but as we can see, they, they do exist. So what I like about this is it's all very open and easy to see. Here's the main line coming in and it supplies water to the entire manifold. And if you look uh, there's a big line on the cold side coming out with a shutoff valve that goes to the hot water heater. So if you want it to shut off water to the entire house, you can turn this valve and it, it'll shut off all the, wa the hot water here. So this is the cold line coming in with the valve on it. And on the other side, we have the hot water coming out, which is fed back into this manifold. So this heated water comes in here and you have all the hot water and as you can see it's all nice and labeled as well anyways i hope this helps this situation like i said is is not too common for the houston area and it means if there's an emergency and you want to shut off one fixture you're going to have to come up into the attic which is a little more uh, labor intensive also one thing about manifolds in general like you usually want the shortest distance between the hot water heater and the fixtures as possible. Um, with these manifolds, sometimes it doesn't allow that to happen depending on how they run things. It could actually cause the line to be even longer and you have to run the water for a, a longer period of time to flush out all that cold water uh, before you actually start getting warm water. Sometimes they insulate the pipes, which helps um, keep that water sitting in the pipe uh, warmer longer but that's I would say one of the downsides of having a manifold and it really depends on on how long those runs are anyways hope this has been helpful have a great day and bye for now